the Financial Planner, presented by the Bombay Stock Exchange, IPF. Hello and welcome to our brand new Financial Planner. Over the last couple of episodes, if you've been tracking us regularly, you would have known and you would have also picked up the basics of financial planning, how to save, how to budget and then how to invest. From now onwards, we decided to include a very special segment. We'll start talking about the stock markets. What are in the bourses? What are some interesting shares throughout the day on the business news channel? We talk about buy the share, sell the share, hold the share. But what does it actually mean if you're an investor, if you're someone who's not really dabbled in the stock markets? What are the things that you should know? And really, uh, is this something that you should be getting yourself into? Remember, this is not a get rich quick show. We're talking about how you can make some smart decisions with your money and always remember that to create wealth you have to do your homework and you have to stay invested for the long term well with all of that out of the way let me introduce myself my name is Smriti Rao and uh, with me I have a certified financial planner Sumit Ved Sumit it's great to be back thanks so much for coming on pleasure and, and really looking forward to financial planner show it's been a long time <laughs> it's know. been a long time it's so it's time. Uh, so it's exciting so we have a lot to talk about I just want to tell you that in case you missed the show uh, you can always catch clips of the show online you can go to our website that's utvmoney.com if uh, you don't want to go there you want to go to Facebook because we're all on Facebook you can go to my page that's facebook.com forward slash Smriti Rao remember we love your emails I love to read them you can email me at financialplanner at utvmoney.com so let's get started Sumit and uh, I want to sort of start talking about the stock market and I know a friend of mine she's really interested in the markets uh, she's pretty smart she's you know young has a good job and she tracks the economy so she she knows what's going on with Infosys she knows what's going on with Larson and Tubro and all of these big name companies and she says that look I want to get in with the action because I know these companies are doing well I know the economy is doing well but how do I participate in not just the, the the company's growth but also how can I use my extra money to be part of that growth and this is where the whole concept of shares comes in doesn't it that you as an investor can say look I like this company I would like in some way to be part of it and uh, can you talk about how you can do that via shares and explain the whole concept of shares to us sure I think uh, it's very very relevant and very topical uh, these days to talk about shares mm. or, or equity as an asset class in Indian market context and it becomes much more relevant today uh, especially seeing the way India is going you mm -hmm. know there's a structural shift which is happening in India as a country India as economy we're moving from a developing economy to developed economy mm -hmm. whenever that happens the gross domestic product which is basically the growth uh, indicator of a country goes through a very steep rise uh, uh, which is in in stock market language known as secular bull run right. and when that happens you know the underlying equity investments or share returns or uh, shares of companies give very good return mm -hmm. so so when this is happening uh, it is due duty of most of the investors mm -hmm. and savers to understand what share market is all about right and take a calculated call of investing in that for a long period of time sure in India it's surprising to see that large number of retail and individual investors do not look at investing in share market by fear of losing money right. because it is not said to be a very good thing uh, uh, to, be, to investing be investing in share in market shares, uh, yeah. there is such kind of misunderstandings mm. with it that many people see share market as gambling which is not right mm -hmm. you know share market uh, as it is known in India and equity for long-term investing is one of the best asset classes and historically it has been proven right. so one point which we want to really put across right in the beginning is for a lay investor for an individual investor anywhere across the country these are great times to look at equity as an investment mm -hmm. you have to do long-term investing and you have to understand what equity is all about right which is you know it's interesting that you bring up the point about you know the mindsets that we have towards true. shares and it's true a lot of middle-class Indians would actually approach the uh, markets thinking that that look I have X amount of money I don't want to put it in there it's very risky it's almost like taking a gamble on stump something True. that you don't know but that's nece that's not necessarily the case True. because you need to do your homework about the company that you're investing in that is on the fundamental side and on the technical side you know you need to sort of learn to read those charts True. to know what sort of opportunities lie within that company itself but I want to ask you if I am a company what do these shares represent for me what does it mean uh, uh, can you talk about that sure so so as as a company or as any business I require money or funds to grow the business or run my business mm -hmm. now these uh, sources of money 
can be internal accruals which is coming from my business growth that means i'm selling my products and making some profit and they can help me but if i want to grow at a faster rate i need to have more money than i'm generating out of my business and this more money can be taken from a uh, from a loan perspective in form of debt that means i can go to a bank or uh, any other institution or you know come up with some instrument where i borrow the money or the other is i divest uh, my business Uh, to large number of investors or small number of investors as part owners of my business right and call this as equity so, so if, equity if, is all about owning the business right so if you have a great business idea yeah. and uh, and i'm interested in your business and i'll say look samit i really like your idea so just give me some ownership True. and that way you know you say okay you give me your money smriti and i'll give you this piece of paper which is a share True. in quite simple terms True. so so as a, as a shareholder you mm -hmm. are a part owner of the company mm -hmm. and and uh, as a part owner you will enjoy the benefits of the growth of the business right and you will um, have to live with the bad growth of the company in terms of lack of return so it has two sides to the coin you know it can give you good return based on the business itself right. it can also give you bad returns based on the way business is performing hence equity is a long term investment mm. hence equity many a time is said high risk high return right and uh, the place where you can buy and sell those shares that's a stock exchange explain to us how many stock exchanges that india have where do i go to get my shares sure i think that's a very very relevant point a stock exchange um, in a very simple way is a marketplace where buyer and a seller of stock come together and try and figure out the right price to buy and sell Mm -hmm. Just like any other marketplace, it's like yeah. a vegetable market. If true. you can say that, true, true. You know, on a simplistic term, it is. You know, you are buying and selling. So in stock exchange, uh, let's say I'm owning owning a share of X company. I will go to that particular uh, you know stock exchange and and tell them that I'm ready to sell my share at hundred rupees. If somebody is ready to buy on hundred rupees. please buy right. and and it might be that there is someone who is ready to buy at 100 or somebody might say no i'm not ready to buy at 100 i'm ready to buy 90 and he give his bid price on that mm -hmm. so it's basically a marketplace right. in india there are two stock exchanges one is bombay stock exchange and the other is national stock exchange these two are automated uh, you know uh, online stock exchanges which are based on very strong technology platforms mm. which are available across the country mm -hmm. through their members who are also known as brokers mm -hmm. brokers of national stock exchange brokers of uh, you know bombay stock exchange and these brokers in turn are available for various retail investors and customer to walk into their office or over telephone or over through website to go and access stock exchanges in terms of buying and selling of the stock so it's it's a very very robust platform it's in fact one of the best in the world in terms of infrastructure which india has in terms of stock exchange platform and also we have a great regulator right so if you have any problem with your shares there's someone looking out for you it's not a unregulated wild west kind of atmosphere because look you have someone selling the shares you have someone buying the shares there are bound to be problems that crop up True. at some point and, and it's such an important point smriti as a financial planner we keep highlighting mm. in india just for the sake of example you know most of retail investors and families are very comfortable with real estate yeah cuz they buy land yeah. buy, you they understand flats they understand real estate they mm -hmm. understand houses mm -hmm. itself there is no stock exchange or there is no real estate exchange where you come to know what is the right price of this house uh -huh. somebody says this is the price you uh -huh. agree yeah. it's a complete demand and supply and it's opaque mm -hmm. not only it has a price finding mechanism there is no price finding mechanism there is no regulator sure where yeah. should i go whereas versus that in stocks you have a stock exchange platform which mm -hmm. is very transparent easily available you can you know, dominate in you know no very small amount mm -hmm. and you have regulator as active as sebi who is there to take care of retail investors so i think it's it's fantastic All you right. need to take access to stock markets okay so i think uh, i think during the course of this conversation we've established that stocks and shares are not a bad thing all you have to do is do your homework just be very careful about the companies that you pick and also you have to make sure that you track your uh, investment as it were and if there are any problems remember you always have sebi to go to to talk about those problems with that let's take a quick break when we come back let's get back to addressing a query that came in from a viewer we'll talk about that right after this he wants to know whether he should invest his money in land like Sumit pointed out <laughs> or whether he should go to the stock markets more about that after this